I'm gonna tell you this. The the person who decided to go this route uh, is insane. I think more than an hour, all the time uphill like this. And I'm here. finished it's 5 p.m. I started before 10 seven hours with all the good in between so I reached the ref refugee at 2300 meters as you've seen and I can say nice trip very nice mountains and uh, I'm not super exhausted, which is great. I feel good. Uh, tomorrow I should feel even better. Or, or of tomorrow. So tomorrow is the Champions League final. So I'm gonna watch that. And uh, then uh, I don't know what I'm going to do before that. We will see. But uh, yeah. Look. I'm back. Let me see, day number four, I guess, here in this area of Eastport with the very cool name for town, Eastport. Isn't that cool name? Fourth day here and today really the real journey starts because as you can see the mountains are in the up up above the forest and the real journey starts because the first day I went to the refugee Amidges it was a three hour one way around six hours journey and today I'm going to hit another refugee different one and why different one because I want to see another uh, another trail and from that point tomorrow because I'm gonna sleep over there so I'm not coming back to not today and from that refugee Tomorrow I'm going to hit two of the peaks that are uh, in reach of this refugee. Yeah, I will have to climb up tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be tough as well, but uh, I've heard worth seeing and you can reach two peaks in a relatively short amount of time because they are close to each other one is 2900 meter 50 
and the other 28 30 or something so almost 3000 meter peaks two of them with hopefully amazing views that's what is waiting for me and yeah i was just doing a quick video with my small smartphone because you can see this white thing not much right now but before five minutes ago white stuff flying in the air and in poland in polish we call it babilato which means the summer is coming that's the sign and it is hot uh yesterday was very very hot and obviously more up in the mountains it could be more sun but at the same time the temperature drops which is good for any body who climbs or tr tr uh, hit the trail they know uh, it's not always better uh, when it's warmer it's sometimes uh, nice to just cool off so I see some people that are coming so see you later I'm gonna tell you this the the person who decided to go this route uh, is insane I think more than an hour yeah hour 30 or something all the time uphill like this and I'm here this is the last beat look at this this is downhill big time and every time I think this is the end uphill there is some more but look at this I knew it is gonna be breakthrough view really really nice really really One hour forty. My legs, my legs are good, man. Good to go. Nice. Okay, so for those folks who are Polish and only have been to Tatra mountains, look at this, Pyrenees, Pyrenees, beautiful lakes too, 
beautiful peaks too. Look. Just one hour 30 from uh, the nearest village. Water is so clean. This is great. This is great. The water is very, very clean. Wow. And one of those peaks probably tomorrow. I'm not sure which one, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna use my binoculars right now and try to spot somebody there climbing because there is nice weather today So Elena, enjoy. Elena, enjoy. Hello. Hi, girls. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Spanish people, Catalanian people, <laughs> here in the shelter of blank something. I don't know. Jean Paul. Jean. Joseph Maria Blanc. Jo Joseph Maria Blanc. Yeah. And I fucking love it. I love this place. And it was. Oh, look, now the snow is falling out from the. Uh, you see? From the roof. Yeah. From the roof. Wow. Yeah, I'm shaking the heart. Yeah, yeah. Someone's shaking. He's shaking that? No. No. This. Oh. Hey, look at this. <laughs> oh my god, winter again. And one more name to remember, Maria. Maria, you're there? You don't mind to be on the video? No, hi! Hi everyone! Good to see you. Yeah, Maria is preparing the food and we are and we are all happy about it because it's we are hungry, it's cold outside. And this is Carl, and he and he doesn't mind to be on the video as well, right? Hello. <laughs> I'm born for the film. Hey. You are born for the film? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It wasn't wet. No. The soup is here. The soup is here. Oh my yeah. god. Serve yourself, and now it's hot. Okay. Venga, Venga. Maria. Venga, vamos. Oh, Vamos, it's like a scudella, no? Oh, this looks nice. Wow. Not good. Uh, Maria, you are not eating? Uh, you are. I will, I will yes? enjoy you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if you want more, there are also more everything. That's all I need to get. <laughs> Kevin is happy. Elena is happy. Joy, in a game. Yeah, yeah. 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 Chicken. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
like in traditional like at home with your mother right like yeah. first you eat the soup and then uh, yeah. the soups are great i love it i love the soups okay so actually i didn't record anything until now i don't know why <laughs> so one more time oh it was such a nice uh clouds fuck it's gone now and my feet are fucking wet yeah. <laughs> oh and the God. crocs <laughs> you can change your crocs in the entrance and that's all no really no no to don't be wet because and can i ch change my socks <laughs> no mine's not walking eh? uh, you have the yeah you're, they're walking <laughs> you can get crocs with like woolen inside yeah in the Netherlands. Everywhere. Oh, yeah. In Australia, the whole place. Yeah. yeah. Like the whole inside is like wool. Yeah, yeah. yeah but the airplane's gone. Wool or uh, wood? I haven't them. Wool. I saw a wood again. Yeah. Like, yeah. like sheep, well. sheep wool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but but the wooden. Yeah, that's in Denmark as well. Yeah. 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 And in, a, in the Netherlands, yeah. 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 <laughs> they used to do it and actually they are not that uncomfortable. They are These, not bad. No crocs. Yeah. But they wish they had these. We call then. it sclops. It's, it's yeah, 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 yeah. We call it sclops, and, and it's a kind of uh, uh, old uh, shoes. Yeah. But they are not like. In Holland, are really typical. Mm. That are made head. of. Um, si. Yes. Why? Mm. Are you looking for the speakers? The speakers are here. Look. <laughs> I'm going to show you because you don't even know. Oh, I know, Look. I know. This one. Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah, this one. So imagine this. We plug this with my phone with Citroen. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Tali will call me, Maria. <laughs> what are you and doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, Carl. <laughs> with the magic <laughs> mushrooms of the, sp yeah. of the Spanish... <laughs> Mountain. Alright guys, this is it. <clears throat> it's early. I didn't wake up that early lately. Oh my god, I don't know for how long. For four years. <laughs> four years probably. But now I am. Quick coffee, quick breakfast. And uh, my goal is to yeah go there somewhere there is the pass and i will be like hitting one of the peaks and i can feel already now like the weather is better than yesterday afternoon like yesterday afternoon it was fucking snowing man so the morning today will be nice that's why so early i didn't even sleep that much I don't know, I was excited or something. But uh, yeah. The host of the shelter wake up earlier. A little bit earlier just so I can leave earlier as well. Uh, you like it? Thank you, like thanks. Thank you very much, okay. Alright guys, now I'm going to make some toast. And don't wanna waste my time. So see you later. And the views here are amazing, right? So. No worries. Hi. First aid. <laughs> no, it's it's okay, yeah? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Pika 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 pika. Hard 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 hard. But no bacteria, no bacteria. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Carl, the Australian boy, he doesn't feel the pain. Hey guys, 
It, is, it was such a nice pleasure meeting you. I'm going. Keep it that. Thank you very much. Thanks, bro. Hope to see you somewhere, maybe. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Completely alone here, high in the mountains. Yeah, on your own. This is how it works. A little bit cold, but yeah, what would you expect? I'm just gonna tell you that I'm gonna hide here for a, for a week for a little while. It's raining. Behind the Christmas tree. <laughs> oh my god. This is mountains guys. One day it's so hot and the other day it's just like... But the good thing is that I see blue sky coming from where the wind is coming. So obviously this is going to end soon because all the bad clouds are going this direction uh, towards the shelter where i was sleeping where my new mad friends are still carla woke up went for a swim into the lake and uh, he injured his uh, foot i think he stepped on a, a rock or something and uh, Maria was helping him and girls were still sleeping so Helena and Joy and yeah I decided to leave early and if I was right now and in, in, in the shelter and I've seen the weather like this I don't know man what would I do but like now as soon as the weather like improves which is now already i'm going man i'm just going and we will see if i'm going to hit the peak de monestero or not 2800 something hopefully i can do it if not i will just run down from the call call the monastero i will just run down back to the back to life but yeah okay see you later almost got lost here but uh, yeah this is the part that they've been saying is not really visible and you have to pass because it's covered with snow but you will find it and I find it. I found the. Uh, I found the. Uh, the sign. So let's look at this. Uh, right. So yeah. The weather improved. 
It's good. Look at this. I'm coming there for one of those peaks. And behind I left all the clouds and thunderstorms and no, I need to hop on here. Alright. Great. Now I feel I'm alive, man. I'm alive again. Right. So at last, a sign. Call. Call the Monastero, 45 minutes. I think it's that one, the Monastero, but I'm not sure. And this one will be the Peguero, I think. And there will be the call, Monastero call, I guess. So it's not so far away anymore. So let's go. Mission almost complete. Almost. Pyrenees. Pyrenees. Catalonia. Catalonia. Leva. Come to Barça. Come to Catalonia. Okay, I almost did it. I mean, I'm almost there. I'll be there in just a minute. The weather is like it is, but the views are stunning. The views are stunning, that's for sure. I am on the top peak, the monastery, monastero. 
Monastero 2877 meters. Woo! Yeah! Do you like my music? Hey, where are you? Hey, here you are. Here you are, brother. How are you, man? Hi. <laughs> nice. You are very nice. Very nice bird. Very beautiful. Oh my god, this place is good. Oh my gosh, look at this place. Oh, wow. So good. This place is amazing. Pyrenees. Catalonia, Spain. I left shelter at six, seven o'clock. It's five hours, and I didn't even stop for uh, more than ten minutes. So it's huge. It's huge. I highly recommend you guys doing the. The national park the name I cannot pronounce so <laughs> you you can find it somewhere in the description but look at this mountain just something just falling off here and what but it's kind of trippy because you because I'm alone here and there's nobody like nobody here there were like two girls in front of me but I think they they have to go home today or something so they were like running in front of me oh my gosh amazing okay so you cannot just leave a bag like that you have to go to the locker so I don't know what's going on here but I was just uh, another tourist place Almost oh. UFC. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good day, yes? Yeah, not so easy. Work really very easy. Okay. 